Smart Ray Topo. Let's go back to the strip mode. I just want to mention again with freehand unchecked, now it's more like using the spline stroke draw mode or the close spline in that you have to click to lay down points. So for example, if I wanted to create one here along the eyebrows, I would just click to add individual points and then hit escape when I'm done. I'm going to right click to increase my brush size and click on a point. I'll change its orientation. And if I want, I can bring it down here, adjust the angle. I'll go ahead and hit enter. So it looks like this one was not close enough. And again, I'm going to go back to the select tool or I can go to the move tool. So this one did get welded but this one here wasn't close enough. So once more, in the near future, there will probably be a tolerance factor that will be introduced that will allow 3D Coat to look for vertices a little bit further out. With the strips tool, you can use parameters here in the middle to adjust how many segments you have along this stroke. You can adjust it along the U axis, like so, or the V axis. So let me increase the brush size, click on a point. And then if I want to add some additional segments in the other direction. I can do that here and then hit the enter key. So let's go back to select tool, faces mode, double click and delete. All right, this is just a quick update to what I mentioned earlier about a possible addition of a weld tolerance feature added to the Smart Retapo modes. You can see now with this new build, a weld tolerance option has been added, and that is going to evaluate the vertices of the entire mesh that you're trying to weld it to. It's not going to be limited to just the strip, so keep that in mind. If you increase the weld tolerance too high, then it may weld vertices that you don't necessarily want on the rest of your mesh. The strip mode is really good for doing as the name implies, creating thin strips to where you can quickly sketch or define the topology, and then you can use other modes to fill it in more efficiently. And I want to show, if I started down here, And let's change the orientation. I think that looks fine. I can adjust that just a bit more, maybe. I have four polygons to connect. That means I need five edges. Instead of using the tool options panel, you can use hotkeys instead. The Z hotkey will reduce the number of polygons. In this case, that's what we want. We want to reduce it one time. So we have five edges and four polygons. Control A will increase the number of polygons. So now I'm just going to increase the tolerance up to about 10 or so, and then hit enter. And now it has properly welded those. I would highly suggest having the move and weld tool on a hotkey so that you can quickly go through and clean up any vertices that did not get welded. Let me undo that. Let's see if I want to bring that up here. And then I'm going to hit Control A to give it one more polygon and hit Enter. Now let me compare that with using the Loft tool. Let me go back to Smart Retapo. We will look at the Loft mode in greater detail in the next video, but I just want to show a comparison here. Okay. So with the loft tool, what I can do is just click the first point, the second point, and then and just drag along. Now with weld tolerance increased a little bit, I can hit the enter key and I can see how it welded it. But I want to make sure and check the rest of the mesh to make sure that it didn't accidentally weld these other vertices. But yeah, the loft tool is going to be much more efficient at closing in gaps 
or sections of an already existing mesh. And that's going to conclude this look at the strip mode. In the next video, we will look at the loft mode. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.